Hey guys, so starting off with my color tattoo in Gold Rush, I'm going to apply this all over the lid area and just kind of blend it in like so. Taking a light brown from my Jenny B. Vetta palette, I'm going to work this into the crease to give it a smooth, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but whatever. <laughs> and then I'm picking up this light pink and dusting it on my inner corner and then kind of slowly working it in working it in towards the middle part and then also putting this on my lower lash now I'm gonna just line and just make this a small winged I'm just gonna wing it out just a little bit not so much and not dramatically but you know make sure to curl your eyelashes I'm gonna give myself a really curled lash because I will be applying fake eyelashes later on topping it off with my butterfly mascara from L'Oreal and then moving on to highlighting my under eyes because I love doing this step it is a must for me so I'm using my Maybelline uh, Age Rewind Concealer in Neutral. And then I'm just using a stippling brush. This is one of my favorite like small stippling brush from e.l.f. And it's just like $3, guys. I highly recommend this brush. It really blends in really, really well. I know it kind of looks a little too harsh. So that's why I'm picking up this fluffy brush and kind of blending any harsh lines. And yeah, just sweeping it all over the place. Now kind of hitting my bottom lashes with the same L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara. I love this mascara for my bottom lash. I think it just brings to life my lower lashes. Okay, now time for the lips, my favorite part of all. I'm going to be lining my lips with Rimmel London Enchantment or Enchantment. It's this beautiful blue tone pink color. I'm just going to line it on my outer lips. Like so. Pulling up a mirror because I can't really see. This is my Wet n Wild uh, most recent purchase. This one's called Moth Out of Here, I believe. Everything will be down in the description down below if you are curious to know. But yeah, I'm just tapping it on my lips just to give it a much more matte finish and just, I don't know, I love this lipstick. And then now taking a white liner, I'm just going to highlight my inner corners like so just to give it more brightness. And there we go. This is the final results for my nice look. Nice or naughty look. The red lips and everything. So starting off, I'm just going to top it off with my black shadow. This is going to really intensify the eye. Um, as you can see, still the same eyeshadow that I had for my nice look, all I'm doing is adding a black eyeshadow to the outer corners and just kind of winging it out following my natural eye. And then just concentrate this on the outer corners. You don't want to go too crazy with this either. Make sure you blend and blend away for a nice finish and that's what I'm doing here. making sure it matches and then I'm gonna just add a little bit on my lower lash just a tiny tiny bit 
and then smoking it out. And now for the finishing touch is the red lipstick from Revlon. This one is called, um, I totally forgot, <laughs> but it's like one of the jumbo pencils from Revlon. It's a matte finish and I absolutely love this one. Okay, this is Stand Out Remarkable number 250 and this is the final look. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my naughty and nice look and until next time, I'll see you guys on my next video. Ciao!